Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be an essential makeup collection slash must haves. I don't really know how I'm gonna name this video, but I am gonna talk about my favorite palettes, my favorite foundations, like essential stuff you need to have in your kit. Whether you be a professional or whether you are just someone that enjoys experimenting with makeup, I'm going to try and cover all bases here. So we will see. So first off, I think the thing that I'm gonna start off with is probably palettes. The majority of them are eyeshadow palettes, but I do have a face palette, which I also did mention in my monthly favorites. A few of these have popped up that were in my monthly favorites. So if you haven't watched that, I will just put a card up. Obviously watch that after. But so yes, let's get on with it. I'm just gonna quickly talk about palettes in general there are so much on the market right now whether it be a face palette an eyeshadow palette a cheek palette I don't, they're just everywhere so i've narrowed it down to three of my favorite eyeshadow palettes and then i've got one face palette so the first one i feel like i need to mention is probably one of my oldest eyeshadow palettes and it is the modern renaissance from anastasia beverly hills this palette has done me so well although it doesn't look like it's been touched it is absolutely filthy like i ugh, this palette was literally all i used this one i'm trying to did i get it for christmas i think i might have bought it myself i'm not 100 percent sure as for price point i think it's about 42 pounds i should probably get them actually i'll get the price up 46 so this palette actually does retail for 46 pounds which does seem a lot for a decent eyeshadow palette you're looking at between 30 to 40 pounds anyway um but this is a very very good investment especially if you're experimenting with different eyeshadows i know when i first started getting into makeup my color that i transitioned from just doing like brown smoky eyes and stuff was red now the majority of these colors are like a ready pinky tone which i personally think is a really good stepping stone when you're wanting to experiment with different colors you can do everyday looks with this eyeshadow palette as well it's what i have used on my eyes today i've used the color raw sienna through my crease and then i just created a winged eyeliner with cypress umber the brown in the palette but yeah if you're wanting to branch out from just doing brown smoky eyes, I highly recommend this palette here. The next palette I am going to be talking about is one that I've had in my collection for six to eight months. So it's one of my newer ones. I definitely bought it last year, but I can't remember when it came out. Now, this is actually the second edition to the first palette that they've done. And it is the Be Perfect Carnival Pro XL palette. This is all for my colour babies. People that love to experiment with different colours. This is so versatile. I personally recommend getting this one over the original just because you do get more for your money, if that makes sense. And a lot of the colours you can get in the original anyway. I personally, well, I got the original not knowing that they were coming out with a second one. Um, so, I mean, I love both of them anyway. And you can see that they're kind of like split into different sections so these first two rows here yeah so as you can see like these first two colors here you could do a really gorgeous like brown smoky eye with it um if you wanted to experiment more into like the greeny colors the greeny colors i know this palette i actually used for a festival social when i went out with football and i used all of like the greens and the blues and i got so many compliments like the color payoff for this palette is just absolutely unreal and it's definitely 100 percent worth every single penny i mean everything i suggest is going to be worth the money because i absolutely adore it but yeah so this is really really good so you get all these different colored eyeshadows from literally every single color in the rainbow and then you have three highlighter colors up the top as well which can also be used for um like half cut creases and things like that so it is really versatile i definitely recommend it this palette actually retails for 42 pounds which is 100 percent worth the money it's a lot it's cheaper than the modern renaissance palette and i feel like they're both on par with color payoff blendability all the kind of different qualities you look for in an eyeshadow palette 
So yeah, this is one of my favourite colourful palettes. So the next palette I'm going to be talking about is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. Now, although this is a collaboration with Morphe, it's considered to be an affordable brand. But this palette also was like £39, but obviously a lot of influencers do have discount codes, so it does actually take it down to £35. And again, I mean, I was going to include the first one because I was obsessed with her first one. I got the first release of her first palette, um, but obviously there's a bit of issues at the minute regarding new formulas and things like that. That's why I decided to include the second one in this video and not the first. Now, if you have seen my Jaclyn Hill um, review, you'll know that I absolutely, again, adore this palette. I will just put a card up in the top right corner. Now, this compared to the um, Carnival palette, you have loads of different textures. So you have your foils, you have your shimmers, you have your mattes. So from different types of shadows, this is 100% a palette that you really need to invest in. Again, purple eyeshadows are absolutely amazing. And the shimmers are also really good payoff as well. So if you're looking for something that is a little bit on the cheaper side, but also you can create really good and colourful eye looks, I recommend this palette. So the fourth and final palette I want to talk about is a face palette. Now I did mention this in my monthly favourites and I, li I literally cannot put this down. So this is the Benefit Cheek Leader Bronze Squad palette. Now in the palette you get a really nice high gloss mirror. The Modern Renaissance and the Carnival Pro also comes with a mirror. It's only the Morphe palette that doesn't come with a mirror. I mean, I don't really tend to reach for the mirrors in the palettes anyway, so it's not really a quality that I would miss out on because I don't tend to use them anyway. So it did come with a little hula brush. If you have a hula at home or you have seen the hula, it just comes with a little flat kabuki brush. Now, I have actually just taken that out um, just so it doesn't fall out. Now you do get two bronzers, you get two uh, blushes and then you also get a highlighter as well. Personally my favourite is the original Hoola. I feel like you just cannot go wrong with a Hoola but when I am more tanned and I do wear fake tan I will use the Hoola Caramel slightly more warmer than the original Hoola and then this is my favourite blush at the minute. It's the Coralisa, I think it's the Coralisa yeah, it's the Coralisa blush and it's just so, so nice. It's really peachy, really nice to just put on your cheeks as like a wash of colour. I also do run it over my nose to kind of give it that little bit of a sunburnt look, but it just it's just amazing. And then you've also got a shimmery uh, blush at the top as well. And then the infamous cookie highlighter that is now a single due to Jaclyn Hill, I feel. So yeah, again, this is really good value for money. This is 52 pounds but if you were to buy them individually they do retail for 20 pounds each so you are technically saving yourself money and the fact that it comes in a palette just makes it so much easier for travel and just being able to find it as well like you don't want to be grabbing like three different products when you can just find it all in one palette so yeah i really highly suggest that you have this in your kit so now Moving swiftly onwards, we're now gonna go on to base products. So my favorite base products do vary depending on whether I've got fake tan on or not. But as you can see, I don't have any fake tan on at the moment. So my favorite primer slash what I put on before makeup or like before foundation is the Max Strobe Cream in the shade gold is it, the sh is it a shade i suppose it is a shade in the shade gold light now if you are dry this product is going to be an absolute lifesaver for you i know for myself i have to prep my skin so much before i put any kind of products on so i do just use my normal moisturizer but then i put this over the top and it just gives more of like a illuminating base and because of how thick the consistency is as well it's really going to protect your skin from any kind of like harsh weathers i know at the minute especially where i am it's very cold and it's very windy so whenever i put this on it just gives me that extra bit of protection it also gives me a subtle glow as well so i really highly recommend this product so i am just going to talk about another base that i really have been loving now that i don't have any false tan on and this is the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter illuminator i don't actually know what the product is because you can use it as a liquid highlighter 
you can use it as a base you can even use it as like a glowy foundation but now that I am so so pale like so pale also don't mind my lovely curl burn yes I curled my hair on Saturday and yeah it's just it's just not the one but anyway so I have really been love loving doing this as a base under a tinted moisturizer again like the strobe again like the strobe cream it just gives you a little bit more of a glow from within and it's not too overpowering it I don't know if I like the applicator it is just like a concealer applicator so I do just like swivel it all over my face and then just use a kabuki brush to blend it in this I feel like it was on the pricey side I want to say it's like 40 pounds but yeah I really, really enjoy this and it's so versatile you can use it as a base a highlighter um, a base for a powdered highlighter so and to be fair I bought this last May I think and I it, it still looks full so you, you know a lot it does go a long way so now I want to talk about my two favorite foundations now the foundation I have been using at the minute is of course the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer I have tried to find this on the website and I genuinely feel like they have changed the packaging of this but um, just for reference I do use the shade do use the shade 2w3 natural now this is probably the closest thing to my natural skin tone that I could get to without literally being too pink um I know when I am shopping around for foundations I don't like anything too pink toned because it just makes me look like I've been sweating the whole day yeah I really highly recommend any kind of Laura Laura Mercier based products I do have the um flawless fusion ultra long wear foundation but I haven't used it enough for kind of to kind of put it in my essentials but I 100% even for like every day you you just you just need this product so my favorite foundation for when I'm tanned of course is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation now I use the shade sand I love how this product just goes on the skin and it's suitable for all skin tones um, but I also love their shade range as well this sh their shade range is so much larger than other brands and I certainly feel like that is something that other brands need to take notice on but yeah I love this product and of course my final product for my base is the P. Louise base in every single colour. <laughs> so this product in particular I use as a eyeshadow base um, for when I'm... <clears throat> when I didn't have tan on. How many times are you going to mention that? Now this product I do actually use for an eyeshadow base and a concealer as well. I cannot use anything else now. Now that I know this works as a concealer there's literally no going back. Um, but I'm not going to talk too much about this product because I do mention it in every single video But just know that get your money's worth. It's £10 for this tube and I literally use it every single day And it's it you know, it's it's still full So yeah, I highly recommend this and it's definitely worth your money just to quickly mention about my brows as well I do have a brow tutorial going up on my channel as well whether it's before or after this video I'll let you know but just in case it's before I do use the NYX um, professional makeup micro brow pencil in the shade chocolate and to set my brows I do use a bar of soap now you will see how I do this in my brow tutorial so I'm not going to talk too much about it but if it has been uploaded then I'll just put it as a card up in the top right corner but yeah so I've been using that for a good like 10 like 10 years no you haven't so I have been using it for a good few years now and it's just a product that I feel you know if it's not broken don't fix it and NYX is such a affordable brand as well so you're not going to be spending too much and it's easy to replace when you run out of it so I highly recommend that so now I'm just going to move on to lips now I do have quite a lot of lip products <laughs> so I'm going to quickly go through them some of them you may have heard of before some of you may have not so of course my favorite bullet lipstick is the MAC Velvet Teddy it is just I just love this product so so much to be fair I really need to get a new one but this is just such a perfect nude for me it goes with absolutely any kind of makeup that I'm doing whether it be every day or a more bolder eye it's just so versatile and I just bloody love it now I'm gonna talk more about glosses and lip tints so I'm gonna quickly talk about my favorite gloss. My favorite gloss is the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy. I don't use this as much just because I 
love it so much and I just want to save it for as long as I possibly can. So now I'm going to talk about a product that is quite fairly new. Now again I love products that I can get multi-use out of. So this was actually off a recommendation of one of my Instagram followers. I was complaining that my lips were just so dry and they were cracking all the time and I needed a product that was going to stop me having cracked lips. Like I just cannot deal with it. So this is actually the Dr. Paw Paw Tinted Peach Pink Balm. Now this can be used in three ways. You can use it as a lip tint, you can use it for your cheeks and any cosmetic finishing with a hint of tint. Um, I did use it as a cheek tint today as well as putting it on before I put my lip liner on and this product is just so good. Like I've never really, you know, I've never gravitated towards like a lip tint before but I really recommend this. I've got a little one to kind of try it out and see if I do like it. Um, I know this can be quite expensive but I just got this little tube from TK Maxx for $1.99 and then when I went into the one um, near me they did have like multi packs as well. So yeah I really highly recommend this one. I love this shade as well because it's not too far off my, my natural lip colour anyway so it doesn't look like I'm you know if I've got no makeup on and I've just got this on it doesn't look too ridiculous. So now I'm going to move on to lip liners. I did <clears throat> I did mention in my other video that I have really been enjoying wearing a lip liner as an all over colour. I feel like they last so much more than a lip bullet. I feel like they last a lot longer you know for every day as just a lip liner. So I do have three. So the first one is probably the cheapest. I think this is a pound and it's the Primark lip liner in the shade Toast. Now this is a really, really good lip liner for Velvet Teddy. It's pretty much identical, maybe a little bit lighter, but this is really, really good value for money as it's only a pound. It's so good that you, you know, you can build your kit up and you can start experimenting with different colored lip liners and they're only a pound. So if you don't like it, then you can just use it for like an eyeliner or something. I do have another Primark one in the shade Spice. Now this one is more of like a deep brown, maybe more kind of like diva mac that kind of vibe but yeah for a pound they're 100 percent worth your money and definitely worth building up your kit and experimentations with different colors now the next two are also you know, they're both from nyx so the one i used to use all the time was the shade london and i used to just put it all over my lips and it would last all day and now i have moved on to nyx lip liner in the shade natural it's just a normal lip liner to be honest it's not marketed as matte or anything like that but it's the closest to my natural lip line that i possibly can i used to use london but london's just a slightly bit too light for me but this is bang on and i think these are lip, the lip liners from nyx are literally like under a fiver so again super good value for money and yeah you can just experiment that way so as for mascaras i don't really have that much luck with mascaras my eyelashes are naturally straight downwards and i used to use an eyelash curler and there was this one time that i sneezed when i had this eyelash curler on my eyelashes and it ripped all my eyelashes out so therefore i'm now scared to use them but the only mascara that i find really kind of like elevates my lashes to a point where i can just kind of like stick them to my false eyelashes is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. Now, I've used this one, I've rebought this one so many times because I've never had much luck with mascaras. So, this is one that I just I just love so much and the fact that it's a bendy wand as well. You can really get to the root and push upwards. But yeah, I mean, I'm not really a mascara girl. I don't really experiment with that many mascaras. But again, I feel like it's like brow products. When you find something that works, you've just got to stick to it. That does actually conclude my kind of like favorite slash what you should have in your makeup kit situation video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and had a bit of an insight onto what my favorite products are. If you have any of these products, let me know and tell me why you love them. And if there's something that you want me to try, then also let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you in my next video.